Oh, well, we got a 911 call about three o'clock this morning of a homicide that happened. This is our mock homicide. What happened, there was a body and there's two gunshot wounds in him. Then we have five casings. We do not know where the other bullets went. Collect the evidence, take pictures of the evidence, and try and find out who did it and how it happened. I had never done anything like this before. It's really interesting to actually get and do this to see what officers and detectives are actually doing at the scene. And there's evidence that these kids are investigating. Uh, there's blood trails, there's fiber evidence, there's shell casings. We will track that evidence. We will actually process that for fingerprints. We do what's called a, a super glue technique where the kids will actually fume that evidence and lift fingerprints off that. We will collect fibers and that will be uh, taken to the biotechnology for analysis. So we are one of the only programs in the nation that not only have a mock crime scene, but we also process that crime scene and then we have another agency, being the biotechnology students in our class, actually analyze the evidence we collect. Uh, this class is really fun. The main thing that we normally focus on is respect, and basically we are a family. We always have each other's backs. We do get into studying and the nitty gritty stuff, but most of the time it's just having fun, being open with each other, communication. We're very pleased that we, we have more and more partnerships with all these agencies and they recognize that that's proactive in the community. It's not easy for the Des Moines Police Department to give on special assignment detectives to do this job or the Polk County Attorney's Office to send an attorney over to actually mentor our kids. So that we're very appreciative of that and I think that shows the commitment of our current leaders whether it be Chief Wingard or John Sarcone or Tom Miller or Sheriff McCarthy. They're, they recognize that our kids are our future and they're making a significant impact with that.